we've been saying everything with, you know, his preferred destination is Miami. He'd be unhappy anywhere else he go. Blazers general manager, he has publicly came out and said they're not rushing to try to, you know, move Dame. It has to be the right situation, uh, preferably the right team. Um, but the Blazers have shown uh, the willingness right now to work with Dame and knowing that he wants to go to Miami. But we've been seeing a lot of reports. I know Woj and Shams, they've reported that, you know, Portland is not really impressed with the package that Miami is trying to give them. Future and Tyler Hero is kind of that main piece. Uh, so, for, like, what are you guys' thoughts on that? Uh, is the Miami package enough? Because me, to me personally, it isn't. Is there a better team, better suitor out there that could put a better package together to please Portland? You know, although Dame won't be happy. You know, is it, you know, trying to satisfy Dame should be Dame number one priority? Or what's best for their team? What are you guys' thoughts? What does Miami have from a player perspective that Portland yeah. would want? <laughs> yeah. Like, my, cool, Miami has Tyler Hero. Portland has Tyler Hero at home. <laughs> uh, it's it's That would be Anthony Simons or Shaden Sharp, who are both long-term, probably better, who are like long-term, better guard prospects than what Tyler Hero is currently. They have School Henderson. School Henderson long term will be better than Tyler Hero. I feel very, very confident in saying that. I I'm trading away uh my the, you know the best player maybe in the history of my franchise, depending on how you feel about Clyde Drexler, to get back uh, you know, somebody who in four years might be the might be the fourth best guard on my team. I, I, I that doesn't excite me. It's it's gonna have to be you know something centered around centered around you know firsts and some pick swaps. Miami's trade package is just not like Miami's you know potential offers here are are not very strong, especially since you know Bam seems to be off the table, um, and then we're hearing that Miami is viewing Caleb Martin here as a sticking point because Dame wants to play with Caleb Martin. I mean, come on, man, like this. <laughs> We, let's be let's be real. I'm assuming Dame ends up going to Miami, but like it'll probably involve a third team because again, I don't think Portland is particularly interested in Tyler Hero, and I get that. I, I get it from Dame's perspective, and I think Portland has not really done right by him during his career. This is important for the direction of the franchise. They got to get this right. One of the intriguing things about this is that not just Dame coming out and publicly saying that he wants to go to Miami. I think that gives Miami that direction. Like, here's the package we can give you. We know that Dane wants to come here, so we can very well give you this package, whether you're satisfied with it or not. We know if we trade Dane somewhere else, he's not going to be happy. If you really want to do right by him, we're going to undersell you on a package for Dame, Damian Lillard because that's what that is. That's not a, a package where a um, – I want, I don't want to say megastar, but he a superstar <laughs> caliber player. That's very underwhelming. And although you're not going to get the equal package for him either way it go, the Miami Heat organization knows, well, Dane wants to come here anyway. So whether they do it now, whether they do it, force to do it later on, whether that he actually plays in a Blazer uniform this year, and eventually they know that, okay, he's going to be traded here or he's going to be moved here either way. So we can stay with this package and not waver. We can say, okay, Caleb Martin, he's untouchable. We can say that this player, bam, he's untouchable. A Jimmy, he's not going anywhere. We can undersell you on this package because we know where Dame wants to be. I think Dame coming out and saying, okay, I want to play with Miami, and that's the only place I would really be happy, puts Miami in a situation where they can offer Portland whatever, pennies on a dollar. And eventually it's going to come to that that situation where he's going to be in a Miami Heat uniform unless they get a third team involved and Portland say, you know what, we're not going to do what's in the best interest of you. We're going to do what's in the best interest of our team. And if that's the case, Boston has a better package. Philly has a better package. So this is what's going on right now. This is a stalemate between Dame and the organization because Miami, their package is not going to change. Yeah, I'm right there with you, uh, both you guys, that the package is not enough. Um, and and I agree with you, Danny, that it is a stalemate right now. And that's why you see the Blazers GM, you know, Joe Cronin saying things like, we'll wait it out. We're willing to, you know, wait months if that's what it takes. And mm -hmm. to me, that's the right approach. I think we saw 
with Daryl Morey, Morey and the Ben Simmons situation wanting out of Philadelphia that if you are patient with it, you're probably going to end up with something rather than rushing into it. Uh, we kind of saw something similar as well with uh, Kevin Durant. You know, he requested the trade last summer. They end up bringing him back. Even though you do trade him throughout the season, um, you were able to probably get a better, better package, you know, a few months later than if you rushed into something during the summer. I think Portland should do what they can to get the best package. I do think they need to help out Dame a little bit. I think a player that spends, you know, a decade plus in your organization, Tune, like you said, at minimum, he's probably a top three player in franchise history. I think you should do what you can to put him where he wants, but that doesn't mean that you need to cost your future in a pretty massive expense. But I think that's the pro- I think that's the dilemma. I think that's the problem. Is that Dame the the problem is that Dame has came out he's came out and said I want to go to Miami. And his agent has came out and said, any other team you trade him to, he's not going to be happy. So Portland, their their management is in a situation where they they know if they trade him, e- even though it might be a better trade package that they get back, if they trade him to a place he doesn't want to be, well, which one is it? Are we going to try to tailor to him because he's been here for 12 years? Or are we going to try to get the best package for our team? That's the problem is that Dame, he's, pub- he's publicly came out and said, well, not him, his agent. I want to go to this team. Essentially, is either Portland's going to cave in to this less trade option that they have to please Dame, or they're going to go out and get a better suitor that could give you a better package for Damian Lillard and make him unhappy. So they're in a situation where they have to pick and choose what they want to do. Miami doesn't have to change anything about that package. I agree with that, but I do think there's a middle ground in there somewhere where you can trade him to Miami and Tunde, like you mentioned, if you get a third team involved. Third team involved, and you yeah. You can actually get a a pros- you know, a player that you want going forward, and Tyler, mm-hmm. you know, maybe go somewhere else. You also get a few picks. I think that's the most likely scenario. A lot of deals like that though can take months, you know, to get a third trade partner to actually yeah. work out the details and come to terms on that. So I could see yeah. this lasting throughout the summer. I, I do think he ends up in Miami. I feel like that's where we're all at with it. We just don't know what the deal is going to end up looking like. It's hard for me to believe that it's going to be basically a single hand trade between one team and another team. I think you're going to have to get a third team involved. Like you guys said, I just don't know who that team is. And I don't know what team particularly will want to help Miami um, when it comes down to it to get a, a star like Dame. You know, that catapults them. They were just in the finals. That, that puts them right back in contention in the Eastern Conference. So, you know, how much do you want to help, especially if it's a team in the Eastern Conference, how much do I want to help this team? You know, you'd rather it be a team that's in the West where, you know, they're they're not competitive. And, you know, Portland's not really going anywhere right now. So, you know, it's not going to be steamed as competition. Um, but, you know, they're in a situation, it's a unique situation. And, you know, we're going to continue to kind of follow this trend to see where it goes. I do think it lasts throughout, you know, this regular season. I wouldn't be surprised if Dame actually plays in a Portland uniform. Um, I, I think he could go to that point where he's actually soon enough for Portland. Um, it just becomes, at that particular time, it just becomes very uneasy for everybody involved because we know he doesn't want to be there. So it just becomes very uneasy for the fans, for him and that organization. Um, so I to me, I think the to me personally, I think the best package will be Philly. I've been saying it since day one. I think Philly that instantly puts them I to me, I, I think number one in, in the Eastern Conference, probably number two, you know, the Bucks, but you know, one and two. I think that's the better trade like partner personally. Um, Philly has said, obviously, that they don't want to, you know, get rid of some of their core players that they have. But, you know, we're going to get into James Harden here in a second. So I really believe that, you know, Embiid and Lillard can be a very dangerous duo that can compete for a championship. 